Hey folks, Joe Robert here, uh, back again with another video about a year ago, uh, maybe not close to a year, uh, but maybe nine months or so. Uh, I made this video right here titled Printful is Overrated, uh, where I went through and I showed you a whole bunch of other print on demand apps. Uh, and I sort of wanted to revisit this uh, and layer in uh, some some new points uh, to this argument kind of updated for uh, 2021 here around the concept of Printful, the print on demand app being overrated. Here is a comment on that video. Uh, someone named Rawlings uh, says the images on my Printful shirts are coming off after four months of light wear. Just thought you guys should know. We also have a post here uh, from Tyler Bailey uh, just about a month ago. He made this uh, saying, uh, is anybody else seeing Printful take a bad turn? Never had issues till late December. I received the blueprint as shown. Print, print was flaking uh, before I removed it from the shipping. Uh, I received it in. Uh, so it looks like a typo there, but basically saying that the print is flaking a little bit. You can see the example here uh, and here. Another post here from uh, Laquita here in the POD Ninjas Facebook group talking about uh, having Printful mess up the order. You can see here that the quality uh, that they got is really not great at all. Now, one other thing here too is here's a post from Connor, uh, basically saying that he had a great experience with Printful. You can see uh, that the embroidery that he got uh, actually looks really good. And even me, uh, I've reviewed Printful stuff in the past. You can check other videos on my channel. They do, uh, for the most part, a good job. I know I showed some issues, uh, some quality issues, uh, but honestly, every app uh, is going to have quality issues from time to time. Uh, and honestly, quality is is not something that I'm saying to avoid uh, Printful for, right? I'm not saying that Printful is bad quality. In fact, if you're going to use Printful, odds are they're going to create something very nice for you. The point, though, is uh, someone here uh, named, named Seamus, I think that's how you pronounce that, uh, basically commented on that first video and said, I was one of those people who didn't know much outside of Printful. Uh, and then since joining the Facebook group, he's talking about the POD Ninja's Facebook group that I have, uh, he's bookmarked 10 to 15 different POD suppliers right? That's the point of making this video is to help people that are just getting started with print on demand, see what else is out there, right? If you're just starting uh, print on demand and you're jumping online and you're trying to find a good print on demand supplier, there's going to be so many people uh, that are just recommending Printful. Mainly, you know, I'm guessing maybe they have an affiliate uh, connection to them or honestly, it's just easy to make content that way, right? Printful is the biggest print on demand app. They have the largest facilities. They have probably Probably the most employees they they they've been around pretty much the longest right they're basically the default print on demand app uh, that a lot of people use just because they are uh, the biggest and hopefully through this video today uh, I'll be able to show you some reasons why Printful uh, may not uh, be a great option and why I think it is a bit overrated when it comes to how popular it is with a lot of the new people getting into print on demand and we'll jump into it right after this. All right, folks, so like I said, my name is Joe Robert. Uh, I make videos here on my channel to help you start, grow, and scale print-on-demand stores. If you want some free training, check the links down in the description. I have a free step-by-step -step course that will show you how to start your store on Shopify. There is a ton of step-by-step -step videos to help you uh, to actually create the store, install print-on-demand apps, and even create products that you can begin selling. Also, make sure to check out the POD Ninjas Facebook group. I am super active there, making tons of different tutorials and things like that and also it is a pretty cool community so if you want to join it make sure to check out the links it is down in the description so like i said in this video we're talking more about whether or not printful is overrated now if you are someone who wants to you know just jump in uh, and sell really uh unique uh hoodies or t-shirts and uh, that's all you're going to sell then yeah maybe printful is a fine app for you right you can see here uh, that they do have some really cool hoodie options right they have a uh, suede fleece hoodie uh, they also have a champion tie-dye option they have another champion option here uh, they have a lightweight option they have some really high quality apparel right if you're looking to sell something like this then yes printful is probably a good match for you however i don't know how successful you're going to be if the hoodie uh, that you're selling like just a regular hoodie 
costs you $39.95, right? Or something like 48, which kind of brings me to my first reason by saying that they are overrated, right? Here is uh, a Gildan 18500 hoodie uh, from Printify. You can see that it's going to cost you $20.75. And here is the same exact hoodie on Printify, and you can see that the prices are much different. Now, one thing to note too is with Printify, you can get yourself a premium account. It's going to give you 20% off of every product that you sell to them, and then it's going to make that price difference very uh, much different. You can see the same thing here. Here is a uh, champion hoodie from uh, Printful, and it is $41.95, right? Contrast that with the Printify option, you're under uh, $30 with this supplier here. And honestly, uh, pricing is not uh, the primary thing that I am uh, accusing Printful of, right? I'm just saying uh, that this is just one thing. Right? If you're going to use Printful, you're probably going to pay more than you would if you were using another supplier. Not just Printify, but tons of other suppliers have uh, regular hoodies that you can sell. And a lot of times people will say things like, well, Joe, uh, the quality is just so much better with Printful. Why would I use another print-on-demand app? And honestly, it's, it's not. Uh, I'm not saying Printful is bad i'm just not saying that they are way better to justify much higher prices especially uh, when you start selling things that are not hoodies and are not uh, t-shirts right if you're getting into some of these other products that i normally recommend uh, whether it's you know a pair of leggings or shoes or blankets or other things like that uh, most times whatever app you're using the print quality is just fine and it's because of the way that it's printed if you're selling a hoodie or a t-shirt they are very prone uh, to errors. If you were to order you know, 100 samples from Printful and 100 samples from another print-on-demand app, odds are you would see the same error rate with both apps. Perhaps the bigger reason of why I think Printful is overrated is mainly you know, product availability uh, and features that, that other apps have that uh, Printful doesn't, right? And even some of the products that are offered within other apps, you cannot get uh, from Printful. Like I said earlier, if you wanted to just sell a whole bunch of different types of t-shirts with all different fabrics or a whole bunch of different types of hoodies, uh, then maybe Printful is a good option. But if you wanted to sell more unique products, there are so much more things out there that really open the door for you to target uh, different niches, right? Or just offer something different than everybody else. So many people are selling t-shirts and hoodies and I think if you're going to do that, you may not be as successful as you could be if you were to sell some more unique options. Now, here is some uh, unique stuff within uh, the Printful app. This is their jewelry tab, which is a really cool product, right? Print on demand jewelry. This is a little bit newer uh, within the Printful app, right? They're definitely uh, offering some unique stuff here. But this is not, uh, honestly, th this jewelry that they have, to me, this is this is not a great option if you want to uh, sell jewelry. What you'd be much better off doing is using the print-on-demand app Shine On. You can see Shine On right here. They have a whole bunch of different options. They have this product that you're seeing on the screen uh, right now, where the actual product that you're selling is the piece of jewelry, and the print-on-demand part is the message card behind the jewelry. As we scroll down, you can see that they just have so many more options. These uh, products here, you can not only do print-on-demand on the message card on the back, but also uh, the actual jewelry. Right, the keychains. If we continue to scroll down, you can see a whole bunch of other options here. They have dog tags, they have bracelets, uh, they even, as we continue to scroll down, uh, are going to have rings and cross necklaces and all of this other stuff that really allows you to create a much more unique jewelry piece. Throughout this video as well, I will put some samples uh, on the screen so that way you can see uh, some of the uh, quality of some of this Shine On stuff, right? So if you're wanting to sell jewelry, maybe Shine On would be a, a better option for you than Printful, simply because I think Shine On's products are cooler. Shine On also has some features built into their app, uh, which I will review later on in this video, that are going to help you to actually make more profits and offer something much more unique than what you are finding on Printful. Now, what if you wanted to sell pet products? Uh, Printful is also pretty limiting there, right? You can see here, they have just one pet product. It is a simple pet ID tag. Contrast that uh, with the T-Launch app. They're going to have dog bowls and pet bandanas. 
We can also take a look at the Subliminator app here. They are going to have two different pet hoodies, which you can see on the screen right now. And then lastly, with Printify, they have six different options for pets, everything from bandanas to sweatshirts to pet beds uh, and uh, that pet dog tag. The same is true if you wanted to sell print-on-demand blankets. Printful just has one blanket option here. It is just a simple throw blanket. If you were to explore an app called Pillow Profits, you would find the same thing. But in addition to that, they also have uh, quilts that are also going to be super cool. You can see them on the screen right now. This is going to be a much cooler product for you to offer. In addition to the quilts, Pillow Profits also has a hooded blanket, a blanket that is Sherpa lined and then has a hood. You can also get this product from a whole bunch of other print on demand apps. Actually, all the apps I've mentioned so far, T Launch, Subliminator, and Printify, all have the hooded blanket as well. Now, the next reason that some people may want to use uh, Printful would be because they are based inside of the USA, right? Some of the other apps that I showed you uh, are based in China, right? Uh, it's mainly Subliminator and Pillow Profits. Some people are going to say, well, I'm gonna use Printful because the shipping times are going to be quicker. Well, take a look at this. This is uh, an all over printed hoodie inside of the Printful app. And you can see that the estimated delivery is May 21st through the 31st. Now, today is May 6th, okay? If we go to the Subliminator app, and we take a look at their version of the all over printed hoodie and you scroll down and you click on the shipping tab, you'll see that when you're selling to the USA, they're estimating production at two to seven business days and shipping as six to nine business days. And if you add that up, Subliminator is giving you a range of delivery of May 18th through the 28th. Okay, if you add that up and do the math, that's what it breaks down to. Today is May 6th. I simply just did the math and the range would be May 18th through May 28th. And again, contrast that here uh, with Printfuls and it's basically the same, right? Even if both apps uh, went to their maximum estimate, right? Of May 28th with Subliminator and May 31st with Printful, there's really not that much of a difference there. You're basically getting this product in the same amount of time. So the argument of using the uh, USA version, which is Printful compared to a Chinese base is not that great because the shipping times are the same. And with Printful here, you're getting the hoodie for $39.95. And if you scroll down, you can see that it's then going to cost you $6.50 to ship it. If we contrast that with the Subliminator version, it is just $33 and that includes shipping. I'm also putting some uh, videos on the screen right now showing you some of the quality examples from Subliminator, right? When you're selling a product like this, you're probably not going to see any issues with quality, no matter which app you are using, I'm sure. Printful is going to do a fantastic job as well. But the point of me showing you this is to say, hey, just because you're not using Printful doesn't mean that the quality is going to be awful. Another thing to consider uh, is the features that are available in the different print on demand apps that you may be considering using. Here is Shine On. Uh, they have some really awesome personalization features that are built uh, right into some of their most unique products. You can see here these examples uh, are going to allow you to have your customer uh, literally just upload their own photo uh, and put it right into the design. And they also have uh, engraving upsells. You can see this heart keychain here. Uh, if you continue to scroll down, they also have this available on the cross necklaces, on the dog tags. Uh, you can even do it, I believe believe on even more keychains down here and the necklaces and the bracelets where the customer can actually engrave the back of the jewelry with whatever message they want and you can actually charge them money to do that it costs you only five dollars through the shine on app but you can choose whatever price you want which basically gives you the ability to add a whole bunch of profit Another cool feature within the Subliminator app is a whole bunch of free print on demand designs. You can go into the Subliminator app and you can literally choose from a whole bunch of free designs that you can add to your store. On the left hand side here, you can actually switch through. You can look at specific niches or specific product options and you can add those to your store completely free and begin selling right away. 
Also, additionally, inside of the T-Launch app uh, that I showed earlier, there is a whole bunch of personalization options and even uh, the ability to offer combo products where you're essentially selecting uh, two apparel items, whether it's a t-shirt and a baby hoodie, and you're uploading two separate designs, and then T-Launch is fulfilling those both for you in the same order without you using any additional apps or anything like that. Now, I also know that I'll probably get some comments on this video of people saying, well, Joe, I'm based in Europe and uh, Printful is is really great for if I want to sell to other European countries because then I can use the providers that they have uh, that are also based in Europe. If that's the case, if that's why you're using Printful, I want to show you an app that is based in the United Kingdom. Here is an app called AOP Plus. They have a whole bunch of really unique products and everything ships uh, from the United Kingdom. They have a whole bunch of stuff. If you wanted to sell apparel, if you wanted to sell home goods, if you wanted to sell wall decor, you can do that through the AOP Plus app you'll probably save a little bit of money and uh, the quality is really good I've reviewed a bunch of their products in the past they also have a Facebook group uh, that you can join if you needed any support so here's the deal here's the here's the verdict right I'm not saying Printful is a bad app by any means I've said that several times throughout uh, this video there's going to be people in the comments that are going to get upset about this video because every time I say stuff like this people always get upset but anyway uh, Printful is a good app, right? They're going to create a quality product for you. Uh, they're going to have really good print quality. They're going to have really great customer support, right? I'm not saying they're a bad app. I'm just saying they might be a little bit overrated, right? If you wanted to sell some more unique products with other features that are available to you and you're going to choose an app besides Printful, you're not going to be really sacrificing anything. A lot of these other people will have you believe that if you don't use Printful, you're going to get a subpar product or it's going to arrive late or something Something like that. We took a look at quality today. We took a look at shipping times, and really those two points that I just made uh, hold true, right? That you're not going to be taking a major hit on quality or on your delivery times. If you want to see uh, even more apps and even more products that are available to us as print on demand sellers on Shopify, make sure to check out some of the other videos on my channel. I have tons. I have videos where I have detailed the top 50 print on demand products. I've even spent a bunch of time uh, showing other print on demand apps that you could use on your store. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. Uh, I would really appreciate that. They do take a while to put together. So uh, without further ado, that's it, folks. Hopefully, uh, like I said, you did enjoy the video. If not, let me know down in the comments uh, what, you, what you think about the points that I made. And then I'll see you guys in the next video.